Hey guys, what's up? It's Tiny Box here. Welcome back to Let's Play Obscure on the PC. The last episode we were pointlessly lost, and in this episode I might be pointlessly lost. Okay, I was looking at a guide, and I saw. It's useless. Uh, a rusted key. I saw that you had to do. You had to unlock the old door with the old key or whatever. And it said floor two. So. Oh, I don't think I've been in here before. Oh, no, I have. I have. That's where I smashed up the glass. That's right. This is the classroom. Um. Oh, my goodness. I wish I knew what to do. I want. I don't want to use... Um. I don't want to use a guide to figure out everything what to do, because... One of the things I love about what I'm doing in Resident Evil now, and just like the survival horror type games, is just kind of finding your own way, you know, without any guide. I find it to be interesting, kind of like an escape room sort of scenario, but I don't want to get sidetracked um, for too long. So, I don't know. This episode might not come out, depending on if it, de it depends on... How good I am at solving the riddles in this game. That's locked. That's locked. I'm gonna go in here, because the character made a comment in the last episode about using the old key here. You guys sure took the time. What do we do now? Uh Does this not open anything? No? It's useless. There's nothing left for us here. I find that to be a very ominous statement when they say there's nothing left for us here. I don't know, doesn't it just sound extremely ominous and vague and just like, there's nothing There's nothing left for us here. Abandoned ship. It's the staff room, yeah, yeah. Door's locked. That door's locked as well. Um, <clears throat> we can go to the boys' restroom again. This is the one that was like possessed. She must open some old door around here. There's nothing left for us here. So she just said it. The rusty key must open a door around here. <clears throat> Sorry for being so quiet. This is what I think I want. I wish I could do Twitch streams. Or just live streams in general, because the quiet moments I like, but in YouTube videos, it's kind of like, yo, is this kid gonna talk anytime soon? So, I don't know. It's like a double edged sword. I genuinely cannot figure out for the life of me what this game wants us to do. Useless, I'm not hungry. You already read that last time. That's where we came in from. Oh my god, I clipped in... I clipped into the wall, I'm stuck. Okay, I guess we're this character now. Oh, he pos he he's possessed. He's not possessed. He uh, spawned behind me. And then this just goes back here. Um, I want to be my guy again. He has a weapon. There's gotta be something. There's... I'm just at a loss. Like, is there a door that I'm not seeing? There has to be something. Oh, wait, there's another... I'm an idiot, guys. There's another floor. What's that? I heard a... I hear dogs. There's nothing left for us here. Oh, this is about to become a... I unlocked the door. Alright. I feel like we're about to have a fighter on our hands. Oh! 
Scooby Dooby Doo. Okay, fight. Oh my god, the combat in this game. <clears throat> okay, back off. Does my health replenish? I don't think it does. Fight back. Are you serious right now? Why aren't these things dying? I am fighting. Oh, that one's dead already. That one died. Hey, Negan's here. <clears throat> Back to it. Oh, it's a... Oh, they're vampires, basically. Oh, he's been bitten. Look at him, he's, he's grasping at his arm. Oh, that means there's a sequel. Do people survive this? Oh, I am so intrigued. Wait, Kenny's alive? Who's the kid that died in the first episode? I thought that was Kenny. That's why they, they killed Kenny joke. The light. Um. Okay. Okay, I want to use an energy drink. Turn to gathering point. Oh, you can fast travel. Nice. Yeah, let's use an energy drink. Okay, I think we healed. I guess there was some animation for it. Um, but did he give us something? Screwdriver, sticky tape, energy. He. Oh, we have a reel of wire. Hold down to force a lock. Does that mean we can unlock a new door? Or did, did he open the school doors? He did unlock them. Okay. Oh, these angles, man. I just heard growling, I'm pretty sure. Puck. Do I want to go in there? I don't know what I want. I'll only leave when I have finished... I'll only leave when I finish with the story. No point in trying to climb into the truck. I can't pick the lock on the doors. Smash the windows, dude. And I also... You know what the other game this reminds me of? And I haven't actually played any of these games before. But it reminds me of Silent Hill. Just from the Let's Plays. Um, that I've seen of it. Class, achievement unlocked. Class over. Miss Ashley, what was your reaction when you saw those creatures? Miss Ashley. Do you really think you'll get out of here alive? Don't bug me, okay? <laughs> what a dick! He just asked if- Do you really think you'll get out of here alive? Oh, uh, his camera died. Big surprise. I'm filming for hours. It's not possible. So any luck? Episode hours? We're in episode three. If anything, I've been recording this series for less than an hour up to this point, right? Oh, thank goodness. Save disc. Yo, you know what that means, right? We are about to save our game because I do not trust this <laughs> game. I feel like we're going to get just bent over by some unknown entity that's just going to jump out of this. Like some zombie or another dog or another horror monster. Where does this go? I like how we can't just leave. It's like, nah, the story is not done. We want you to suffer a little bit more. We have to make sure at least half the cast dies before we can have an ending. This does not look like a real school in the modern day. This door is locked. Can I force the lock? No. I don't understand that. I can force some locks, but not all locks. Alright. I am so scared for the combat in this game. We almost died to those dogs. The only reason we survived is because there was a cutscene. Oh, is this just where we were? Right? Uh, I think so. Do we have a goal? Oh, what's this? Clues. Oh, documents about building of the school.
I don't know what the A stands for. Oh, Ashley, right? Okay, quit. There we go. She's sitting over there still. I don't know why we can't all grow to grow. I don't know why we can't all go together. But, whatever. And also, on the character menu... Uh-oh. She injured? Is that why? Is that why she's in blood? Is that because she's injured? Wait. Yeah, there's a like kind of red. I'm gonna... <clears throat> use her energy drink. Oh, wait, we share inventory? Is that true? Oh, we do. Gosh darn it. I thought she had her own independent two energy drinks, but now I guess we share it. Um... You know, I, s I don't know... There's nothing left for us here. Yeah, I understand that guy. I keep hitting the right trigger and he's like, There's nothing left for us here. That's where we... Came from. Do we have a meeting about this? Let's go find Friedman. He must be in his office. Oh, okay. We have to find Friedman in his office. In the administration building. That's what's... <clears throat> oh, wait. Friedman. Classroom. So we have to get over there. Okay. If I know horror games like I know horror games, which I don't know horror games, um, it wants us to go to that. See, this is what I don't like. It's like the map, the camera's cool, but it's so confusing to read this map. Is it, am I going the right way? It looks like it. Then down here, right? It should be right here. Oh yeah, right here, classrooms. Oh, there's definitely be some monstrosity in here, isn't there? My God, what's going on in the school? No kidding. It looks like my brother's room. Cool. An aluminum baseball bat. I don't know how to play as her now. She has the aluminum one. I'm pretty sure I heard a, I heard a dog. They're probably gonna jump out at any second now. What's this say? A map. Oh, you obtained a, obtained obtained a map. Why can't I get more energy drinks? And the MOBA. The vending machine is not out of order. I just broke it. Uh, don't want to turn it. There we go. Hmm. That's the bathroom. Oh boy. Oh, I love how creepy this game is, but I also hate how creepy it is. Oh, that's a weird effect. It's sticky tape. How do I speed the process? Oh, we're gonna have to use some chemical, aren't we? Did I watch this on YouTube at one point? I think I remember. I never played this game, but I remember having or watching a video or something. Or the maybe I'm just ma making things up. Do I have to use a chemical on it or something? There's a chemistry. There has to be a chemistry lab. I can't be going crazy. I must have watched a review of this game, or- No, it must have been a let's- OH MY GOD! <sighs> Sorry. Screw off. Oh my god. That's gonna be hard to die. I hate- I hate how it's not creepy, but it is. Oh, save. Uh, the mortophilia comes in the form of ciphers. Classification appears difficult. The, end the endemic plant allows microscopic buds to appear, which do not appear destined to form a new plant, but to possibly generate other leaves for closer examination. The, par uh, the parasites in the spider-like appearance explain its capacity to propagate in an excessive manner. Hypothesis verified by the pressure of an or the presen presence of an oversized sucker ensuring proliferation. Uh, detailed examination of the buds. The bud shows supernatural power. Hundreds of lines <clears throat> at the neck can confirm that the species has phenomenal longevity. Cutting the xylems, the ducts are completely dry. No trace of humidity. How are these chlorophyll cells irrigated? The black... Sorry, I stopped reading that because I heard a sound. Must have been the NPC. What's your health like? Shannon. Uh... He's hurt now. Dang it, Josh. It's sulfuric acid. 
Yep, I was right. Sulfuric acid. We gotta use that somehow. You just use acid carefully. I'm so glad that I was able to kill those monsters. In fact, we're gonna save a second time. I know it's kind of dumb to save. I know there's probably guides like, you gotta save after you do this part of the game, but I don't know. I, I just feel more comfortable uh, saving when possible. Reel of wine. We gotta find some kind of um, cup or something. Which, God knows why I wouldn't be in the chemistry lab. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, why? Why not? Why not? If I know this game like I know this game, and I barely know this game because this is only episode 3, I'm probably going to find it in another room. Maybe a locker? No. I was hoping. I'm going to try. I've never seen that telephone work. Is it a telephone? It doesn't look like a telephone. Um. Wait, where does this go again? Didn't we go through here already? I'm trying to remember. Oh, that's where the that's where the door is. Okay. Sorry, I, I got distracted. I was like, I know I know that door. Why do I know that? Um. That's. The water smells strange. I just said a second ago. Said. Oh, we can force the lock. Eh, do I want to, though? Is there another door I can open? Oh, no. Okay. There's a lot of things here. Oh! Holy crap! We got a gun! That didn't help me last time. I died in the first episode. Ammo? What's this? There's something there. I don't want to shoot the gun. Okay. I look how I just stole a bullet for me for the tutorial. Flashlight in good working order. It might be useful. Let's use the tutorial now. Tape the lamp. Low power flashlight to the gun. There we go. I don't know why it's calling it a lamp. That's kind of bizarre. But, whatever. That's cool, we actually have a weapon, so I'm kind of glad that I went in here instead of the bathroom in case more of those hellhound type things attack us. I, I don't know. Um, a teacher forgot to close his locker. Why did the te- well, is there something in it then? No, okay. Let's see what's in here. In here. Oh, wait, can I- no, I'm gonna find nothing in there. I was just gonna smash it open. Um, let's head to the first door. See what's up. There's this isn't like a classroom, so. Is this somebody else? Stan. Oh, Stan. My main Stan. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna stand on this one. These kids are all high. Wait, so that's not Kenny? Okay, we got Stan. Okay, I'm with you. No. Let's go. Dude, see, I don't. I want to bring Stan. Why can't I bring all three of them? Why do I have to leave one? I bet the kid was changing his grades, like an episode of iCarly. Took a paper cup. Oh, cool. It's probably gonna go right through that though, if I were to guess. Let's try it though. I don't know the rules of this universe. Computer is broken. 
Oh, marks must be on these computers. Our grades have been. You say that. Can I? Can I? This lock looks easy. There we go. So I'd rather open this in the bathroom, I think. Doesn't this look like something interesting? Hopefully. Oh, I can... Strange experience. The Leafmore High School is, once again, at the heart of the controversy. In effect, Greg Anderson, a second-year student, disappeared on Monday night. It was after classes that his friends in the dormitory notified his absence. He had gone home, or he had gone to the sick bay after feeling unwell, and it was there that he was seen for the last time. Another student disappears. The list of disappearances from Leafmore has got even longer with a new victim, Tom Mahust. Mahust. The police have no real cool <laughs> cools. Wow, uh, have no real clues at this date, and a lot of parents have decided to change their children from the school. In five years, no less than twelve students, and no trace has been found. The Leafmore affair. The police react. New measures have been taken by the police in the Leafmore disappearances affair after the disappearance of a sixteenth after the disappearance of a sixteenth student, Richard Craig, last Tuesday. Jesus, how how is how's the school not shut down? Controversy, at Leafmore. But what are the police doing? When will they order the closing of the school? Said Mr. Flint when coming out of police headquarters after the disappearance of his son Harry. The the answer was not long coming. The principal of the establishment, Mr. Friedman, came this morning to meet journalists. It seems that the furious lunatic wreaking havoc on our premises is only interested in the students staying in the dormitory. We have therefore, by agreement with the forces of law and order, closed access until order returns. Closure of the Leafmore dormitory three years after the last disappearances at Leafmore, none of which have been solved. Herbert Friedman, principal of the high school, officially announced that everything was back to normal. Although the perpetrator of these crimes is still loose, it seems that the closing of the dormitory calmed the ardor, ardor of the mental patient responsible for these disappearances. So they straight up just... Oh, I can pick as many locks as I want, I guess, with this. Um, so they just closed the dormitories where the disappearances were, and they just assumed it would just go away? That is... I took three paper cups. That should be enough. Oh, I can take more than... Okay, I can stack them. Am I... Am I the only one that's, like, bizarrely intrigued why this school is allowed to be open still? I just switched characters, I'm pretty sure. I want to get the other kid. Where is... Yeah, no, I don't want you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Stan. You don't have a weapon. We need to have as much backup as possible on this. Oh, and he disappeared. That's great. So now we're stuck with a weaponless guy... And a girl. Oh, well, I guess I can give him my bat. I do have the gun. I don't know how to give weapons in this game, though. So. Stanley Jones. Stan excels more for his frequent unjustified absences than for his results, despite genuine capability. Risks repeating a third time. Pity. Um. Let's see. Theater. Uh, we have discovered that Stan is particularly skillful in de detecting. Fragile locks and picking them very quickly. Okay, that's a cool skill. I can see why that would be helpful if we have to pick something fast. But I don't think. Th okay, let's move. Let's check the place out. Right. I won't budge. No, wait, no, you stay here. Yeah, follow me. Does this guy have a bat? You. Oh, wait. No. Why don't they share all the items? Okay, whatever. We're gonna play as Ashley or Shannon. Um. That's the closet. We can go back to the chemistry lab, I think, now. Right? Oh my god! What is that thing? Is it an arm? I knocked something off of it. That just gave me a heart attack. No, don't go in the closet. God damn. Oh my god, I died to see me the heebie jeebies. I'll tell you what.
Is this the chemistry lab? Oh. Yes. Let's save. Actually, immediately. Because <laughs> that monster just right. almost killed me, I'm pretty sure. I wasted so much ammo on it, too. I did not want to get close to it, though. I didn't know what the effects of that thing were. I thought I was going to die. A sticky tape. Energy drink. That's nice. Let's check her health, actually. Uh, this kid's hurt still, but he's outside, so we're fine. I'm assuming he went back outside, right? He went through this hole. He went through this hole? You mean he came through it? Because I thought he died in the hallway. Unless he didn't die? I don't know. This game gives him heebie-jeebies. God, that was such a loud... I hate the loud sound effect. I'm almost kind of glad I'm not using face cam. Why can't you carry it? Use. There we go. Okay. Okay, good. It pauses. No, it doesn't. It's not pausing the timer. Fuck. Watch. Oh my god. I'm so screwed. Oh, I got it! Oh, thought I failed the puzzle. I thought it deplenished. I thought it disappeared quickly. Um... What's that? Yo, pull me the gap. Oh my god, it's got a knife. I'm so screwed. Oh, I killed it. Come on. Let's fight. Use the light? What light? Okay, we definitely need to use our energy drink now. What's... What's his health like? He's fine. Out of pistol ammo, which scares the crap out of me. It's probably the energy drinks that are killing everybody. Or they're possessing things. Oh, there we go. I'm trying to check out every little thing. Just, I know, there's probably a monster in that. Oh, yeah, there is. Holy crap. He yeah, found me the gun. I don't have any ammo in it. It doesn't matter. Where'd he go? Did this disappear? I guess so. What the heck? Why is it playing combat music? I don't have the access code. Okay. Commemorative plaque for scientific expedition. You can see the coordinates on it. 330, how to do 20. Oh, is that like code numbers? Can I... Dr can I actually, like, not give this guy the gun? Oh. Oh, I switched characters. That's what I did. Can I... Can I... Yeah, give. There you go. He has the gun now. And I had the bat. It's useless because it has no ammo, but it's an NPC, so we'll see if he can use ammo when there's no ammo, if that makes sense. You know, in some games, how, like, computers have, like infinite loads of ammo. I don't know. It's probably not the same for this game, but might as well check it out. Oh, the camera's gonna screw with me. I thought it was a door. Nope. God. I hate how it's like... 
Yeah, okay. I hate how the characters are like, even though you're looking that way, you can't... Really? Nope, still alive. Yeah, I realize you're out of bullets, Stan. Okay, back to picking the lock. It's gotta be a clue when they started attacking us. I guess Stan would be better at this because it says he's faster at lock picking, but I don't know. We might as well just enter anyways without doing that. Stan. Um <clears throat> I should have ended the episode because it's oh there's ammo in there, it looks like. Ammunition for a pistol. Sweet. Now we can reload this baby. How much ammo does he have? 15, 30 shots. Nice. Um, I should have ended the episode last time I got a save point, but... Oh, energy drink. Every time we get an energy drink, like, I feel a little bit more confident because I can recover from things. But, my goodness, this game is actually quite terrifying. I'm just- I just don't like the jump scares. Okay, we already- we can't go back up there. I thought there was something else. Teachers left a folder behind. This proves it's not only the students who are scatterbrained. Is someone trying to open my door? Oh, there's a hole. Part for the dogs to get in. There's probably gonna be a monster out here, because I heard scratching at the door. Silent Hill PT style. I don't like this game. I mean, I love this game. So far, I love it, but I just know. I absolutely know that this game is going to screw me over. Um, This isn't the same room, is it? Nope. Briefcase. It's Professor Wallen Satchel, but what's he doing with all that stuff? Needle of a compass. Oh, I knew it. Get out of here, man. Sorry, didn't mean to hit you, Stan. I actually like this combat. I didn't like it when I played it on the PSP when I played Obscure 2. But I'm starting to get used to it. It's not perfect. It's kind of clunky. But I'm honestly going to say this. It's going to be contradictory. Not contradictory. It's going to be uh, controversial. But I'm pretty sure I'm better at this combat than I am at Resident Evil 1's combat. <laughs> I'm terrible at Resident Evil 1. I want to play it, though, for the channel. It's so much fun. And I just like this type of style, of, or this type of Let's Play, to be fair. Or to be honest. Um, I don't know. Compass Needle. Okay. Oh, nice. Thank you, Stan. You're kind of injured. I might as well just pop an energy drink. Just so I can have it. That's locked. That goes downstairs, I think. Um, The headmaster... Oh, it's a glass door. I, guess, I think this is the last door that we haven't explored. Or the last room. Which makes me nervous. Very nervous. Oh, save disc. Thank goodness. I was scared that we were not going to get to another one anytime soon. Anyways, guys, since we got to a save, I'm going to go ahead and pop... Or, pop? What am I saying? I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. This one, I feel like we got a lot accomplished. This feels like the best episode so far, just because... We're learning more things, we got a new character recruited, we have two weapons, two characters with weapons, uh, we've killed a few monsters, we kind of know what to expect, a lot of jump scares, a lot of puzzles it looks like that are coming up, and I honestly want to know what we have to do with this, with this compass piece, uh, this compass needle I should say. I'm pretty excited to see what's going to happen. Anyways guys, I'm going to end off this episode here, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe if you're new. If, of course, only if you want to. I'm not going to force it on anybody. I don't want to be that YouTuber. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. Keep calm, trust your instincts once again. Sorry for the third outro. And yeah, peace out, everyone.